Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Engineering Nation. Today we will learn what is custom connector. So let's see what is custom connector. So as per the definition, custom connector is nothing but a feature provided by Microsoft in Power Platform where you can create your own connector and use the same connector in Power Apps and Power Automate. So like suppose there are a lot of connectors uh, which was created already by Microsoft but some of the connector may be some personal APIs that you have not created by Microsoft. So here you have an option to create your own custom connector and in this video we will learn how to create a custom connector for weather application. So let's dive in. So here is my Power Automate portal. And before jumping to Power Automate portal, let's see uh, uh, the API that from where I am getting the data for a weather application. So I am using Open Weather website where I am using the APIs for it. And with this API, I can fetch the details of the city's temperature, and then I can show you, show it into the Power Apps or Power Automate. So first of all, if you just come here, just open this uh, website, openweathermap.org. I will put this into the comment or in the description and just sign in. After signing in, just come to the APIs and you will find the lot of APIs calls and the types of uh, API calls you can make. And uh, in the marketplace, you can come here, you can find one key. It will be very important if you want to call the APIs. So you will get to know what is the use of this key. and. Uh, this is how so before jumping to power automate portal i am using postman to call the apis or to get the data from the api so postman is a tool through which you can use this tool to just test your apis if it's working or not and it's giving you the perfect result or not so let me tell you how to use that so first of all i am using the get method get method is to just fetch the details from the server so here you have to put the api which you want to talk with so suppose here is the api that i want to talk with so just copy it and here you have to paste the api now these are the parameters that we have to pass city name and api key so let's find out the api key from here as i have mentioned just you have to copy it and just paste it here and just have to paste here and similarly city name you can type in text let me put mumbai okay and just i have to send the request so once i sent the request i got this type of response and here is 200 okay means everything is successfully done from my side no error occurred and these are the this is the one type of response we'll get where we'll get some ids like temperature and feels like temperature mean temperature max pressure humidity this type of things will get in real time if i put some another value suppose delhi and uh, send the request i will get the another value so this this process can be happen in the same as in the power automate side as well so let's see how to create a custom connector in power automate so first of all you have to just come to the data section and you have to just click on the custom connector and i don't have custom connector as of now so let's create a new one by clicking on new custom connector and from blank give the name of your custom connector let me give the name is weather okay and continue so after continuing it we'll get an another page where we have to describe our custom connector so let me upload the picture that i have copied from the internet and the description you can put like this custom connector will give you the information about the weather okay and now use the https as a scheme and in host part you have to copy the host name so what is our host name here so host name is this one api.openweather.org this is the one host which is providing us the data so just you have to copy this part till org and uh, you have to paste over there so just come here and paste it and that's how you have to just do this part in the this page and now proceed with security uh, 
authentication we have to provide api key as like this api is working with api key so we have to provide the authentication but there are many other authentication which will be different for different api for now we have api key as a authentication method so we'll use that so now here we have to provide the parameter level uh, it is a key and the parameter name is auth and now let's go for definition and inside the definition you have to create a action so let's create a new action and the summary of the action is to get weather okay get weather data let's use the precise let's use it data description is you can put anything like it will give you the data of the weather and the operation id the operation id is important and uh, it can be a city because we are provide we are working with the city as a parameter so let's give the operation id as a city and in the request what kind of request we are making with this api so just import from sample and we are using get method and inside the get method we are using a uh, postman let's just go to the postman just copy this because we are using this get method and this is the link that we are sending a request so just the same thing just do it here but mention that here we don't have http so just add the http as so now it will work and just click on import so what will happen whatever things are doing in the get it will automatically import it so just click on it and it will import it so now after doing this step you will get in two queries q and app id q means city name and app id is the api key that we are passing so this uh, this api url require two things which is city and api key if you just go to the postman you will find this key you will find this value suppose so here you are required to provide weather as well as the api id so the same thing power automates also demands this is the query q and app id now we have to add the response what type of response we will get so just add a response and in the body you have to provide the json that we are getting so i am just copying it from the postman like i have the data so just copy it from the postman and here just paste it so you will get an sample body that we are getting from the url and import it so once you will import it if you click on it you will get to know what type of details we are getting when we are uh, requesting for that api or when we are sending a request to that particular api we are getting this type of response just move back and uh, request done response done and now click on the validation let's do the testing okay you have to create a custom connector first let's create the custom connector click on it it's saving the custom connector here it will take some time here my custom connector is saved now let's go for testing and here is the weather let's provide the city name and the app id just copy it from here this is my app id copy test operation okay it failed why please create a new connection let's create a new connection for the same so how we will create a connection just click on the new connection and it will give you the connection page just provide the api key and create a connection now the connection is successfully created let's refresh this page sometimes this happens so you have to just follow this process that i am following and this one just now click on mumbai and the same api key yeah same test operation and here you will get an ok message 200 and this is what kind of response we are getting and everything is successfully done here update the connector and save the connector now we'll use this connector in power automate to get the data let's see how we can get the data you can use this connector in power apps or power automate anywhere also right if you want to create an app where you have to just enter the date uh, the, the data of city it will automatically fetch the temperature and everything then you can also add this connector so now let me go to the maya flow section and let me go to new instant cloud flows manual triggered flow create 
and in manual trigger I will add an input as a text and this will be a city name okay now on the new step let me add a custom connector this one is my custom connector and this is the action that I have created so the action is coming here let's add this one and the city I will use the dynamic content from the first step so just call, just click on it and you will get to know the dynamic content from here what is dynamic content city name okay so let's come here here is the dynamic content and the app ID just give it a hard code value and the new step I am sending a mail to myself uh, to okay now the subject should be feather of city name let's give the city name here is the city name and the body should be let's give so now this flow is created now let's save this and let's trigger the flow and test it uh, manual triggered test I have to provide the city name first let me put the Mumbai and it will put the dynamic content from here to here and it will fetch the details and it will send an email so let's run the flow done and the flow has been successfully ran if you click here you will get to know the details of the the what we are fetching from the APIs here all the things are there and the email that I have sent is also come here in like that way so let me jump to the email and uh, here is the email and this is the email looks like the weather of Mumbai and more details here so it is like a dynamic so if I add any other city it will put the details of the next city that I will use so this is the, this is the flow is very simple just you have to manual trigger and just get weather data and just, just send an email so this is what the flow is and uh, and that's how we can create a custom connector so custom connector is nothing but just we are uh, sending and getting the data from the api into the power automate and sending the data as well this is a high level view of custom connector just we are getting the data from api and sending the data to the api this is how the custom connectors work i hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel if you want to more and just comment down your requirements and whatever the videos you want to see so i will try to make that video Thank you and have a great day ahead. Bye.